Hi guys, it's Borgson. Today, guys, is Vlogoween Day 17. First, guys, I can't even believe we're that far in already. Guys, lately, I don't look like myself. I do want to add a little disclaimer, guys. Um, My voice is starting to get... We're on day 17. I'm on camera every single day. My voice is starting to crack. I mean, if you guys can hear the radio... In the background, that is because this is being filmed like two o'clock in the morning um, when my dad is coming to sleep. So I figured I wanted to vlog this way so you can get a better look at me, but without saying my whole room. Guys, I got kids from mom. So today, guys, we're going to do story, celebrity crush story time. Um, I don't, I don't know if these videos are very popular on my channel or not because. Like I said, I gotta get the dolls out and I'll do all those videos on the dolls. And that's a lot of work. <clears throat> sorry, guys. So, today, I'm sorry I'm talking so low, too, because my voice is so cracked. Today, we'll be discussing Richard Harmon. If you don't know who he is, um, don't worry. I didn't eat until I was, like, 22-ish. Um, okay, um, so let's see. You can see him in, he's most known for the 100. Oh, nice, I got my tablet. I don't see this tablet right next to me. I won't be showing any pictures of Richard, but you do have to know him. He's very cute. Take my word on because I won't be showing his pictures for copyright claim reasons. Um, let's see, let me see what he is. Um, he's mostly known as John Murphy on the 100, but he has been in other shows and other things. A lot of his stuff, honestly. I'm trying to think what else I've seen him in. Um, I know he's been in other things. Oh, Bates Motel. He also played Richard in Bates Motel. Um, with Freddie Highmore, but that was like for only a couple of, like two or three episodes, something like that. So he wasn't involved that much. Like I said, I don't want to copyright claim. We're not going to make fun of Richard or else. I think his unique, like, features are actually very cute. Um, I knew I next who hated Richard Harmon. And made fun of Susan Marks because he was so jealous of the guy. Guys, Google him. He's a good looking dude. So, I call him Ricky, but I don't know if that's what I mean. He's 32. It's, I'm 31. He's definitely 32. On August 18th, I believe, here, guys. I'm going to Google to make sure I'm telling you guys the correct information. I'm not. I believe it's 18th, August 18th, but let me. Yeah, let me see, guys. I don't know. Sorry, you guys. You guys don't see my face. He was in one episode, The Good Doctor, but they killed us. I don't want to say it. I don't think he kills a kid off because he didn't return. Comes right up there. I don't want to speak his name. It can get attacked because my voice is dead. I don't want to get on um, crazy. Um, I've definitely seen the 100 first. I will be diving into. My opinion of like some of his shows and stuff like that. I can't. Yes, I was right. August eighteenth, I was right. So I thought he was quite good looking. He jawline, his nose, like, mm, it's so cute. I was gonna say more like a gentler guy, but I don't know Ricky, so I. Uh, can't say what kind of man he is because I don't know the man. But I see him in interviews and all. It seems like a nice guy. You know what, guys? Another thing I noticed, I'm not saying feel the one down, obviously. I think Richard Harmon and Leonard from the Big Bang Theory, I hope I'm saying this right, Johnny Galecki. I'm sorry, I'm say, I'm, guys, I always apologize if I'm not saying the name properly. Some people are so me for saying the name wrong. I think they look very similar. It's just Richard's more of a paler complexion, and he's about 16, 
this year is younger or so. But they have very similar features. I mean, I was watching an interview when Richard was wearing glasses and had his hair so much. I didn't even know it was Richard. I was waiting to hand the video waiting for Richard to come on. Why does look this guy looks like he could be Leonard from the Big Bang Theory's brother here instead of Richard? And I realized it was Richard. We ended up playing Murphy, and I was like, that's not even Richard. And it was like, what? I was like, oh. Guys, today I would not make that mistake. I know Richard when I see him. I would not make that mistake today. But that's good. Um, like I said, I'm going to get more into the 100 because I'm going to do reviews of them. But I don't think John Murphy, the character, deserves a lot of the heat that he gets. And I don't know if that's because, like, I like Richard, so I'm going to defend John naturally or vice versa. I just don't know. But, yeah, I don't think the character deserves the heat that he gets. I'd never finished the 100. I mean, watched up to a certain... Because I was working, too. Um, guys, I don't recognize myself in... The viewfinder, I never do. I look totally different in my mind. You can see my big finger, guys. Because, guys, in my light, if you notice, my light, my lamp there. You can see a crack in my screen. By the way, my lamp doesn't work, so I have a night. You know, my vlog going videos, I got a new light. So, it's not great, like I thought it was. But it's all right. So, anyway, guys, um, yeah. That's, he's actually why I got into Spongebob. And I'm going to be making... I want to try and make it on my Spongebob collection video. This vlog link. But I don't want to promise. Like my plushy Spongebob. There are two missing still I can't find. But the other two are missing I found. So I'm like, yay, hey, baby. My toddler sponge. Like, my infant one. And that's why I got one of my Spongebobs. Because Richard had one. And I was like, yeah. There's, um... A meet and greet with Richard Harmon might actually make me uncomfortable. I don't know. He seems like a fun guy at meet and greets, but would I want to meet him in person? When I always say you should not meet the people you admire, um, I don't know. The opportunity was there. I don't guys, I always worry about my hair looking funny when I meet people, or you know, he may not be able to understand me when I talk, and that might offend me. Like if Richard or Ricky or call him or Dicky, whatever you want to call him, if he can't understand me when I talk, that would probably be offensive. I'm sure he wouldn't mean to be offensive. Who knows? He might. There are some people that actually can understand my normal voice. I'm not, you know, wearing out 17 days in vlogging, but I mean like my normal kind of like stuttery voice, my like slight speech impediment voice. Some people understand me quite fine. They must have a relative with a disability, too, so. Yeah, it's just, actually, guys, I first started watching the 100. I watched for Devin, but I stayed for Richard, basically. Could you guys, um, one, I'm more than willing to do a Devin Bostick celebrity crush story time, if you guys want to see. So, anyway, guys, I did try to resist Richard Harmon at first. I was like, do not Google him. Do not look him up. We do not need another Alexander Ludwig situation. But guys, the more I looked Richard up, the more I found out about Richard, the more my friends got weirded out by him. At the time, I had a boyfriend who even threatened to beat me up over Richard. So I'm like, you want to beat up a visually impaired person over Richard Harmon? I'm like, no. I don't think Richard would even like, I would hope he wouldn't like someone saying that about him that would be like they want to beat his van up over him dad's pretty good with it because dad watches ricky with me <laughs> i make that dad watch him with me you guys i used to watch richard's um videos and stuff but i don't like to get to know him too much because i know i can never have richard so i don't want to get to know him too much i think i I'm not sure it was him, guys, but he can correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm being a person. I believe he said he would, when someone asked him if he would change his name, he said it was named after his uncle who died young in the Vietnam War. But I'm pretty sure that was Richard who said that, but it may not have been. But he loves Spongebob. When I asked him why he loves Spongebob, his answer was, well, if you don't know, I can't tell you. I know I love Spongebob. He's adorable. He used to watch him a lot when I was a kid.
I love SpongeBob. So guys, I mean, I could go on 100 years without Richard Harmon. Um, he does have a sister who's also an actress in My Zombie. Uh, guys, there's a light. Do I have made it brighter? <laughs> there's a light. I could begin. There's, there's like a flashlight on this to make the to make the video brighter. But anyway, guys, being Richard Harmon's biggest fan, it's all right. I mean, don't let anyone tell you you can't do something you want to do. Like, I didn't want to watch all of his shows. I don't want to get it out of my system. But, yeah, liking Richard Harmon has been a unique process. He does like to eat at restaurants by himself. He does have some friends. I think it's very mature for a man to be able to eat at a restaurant by himself. He said he had to learn to cook because of COVID. <laughs> I like a man that can cook. You guys know my dad cooks, so I like a man that can cook. Um, why he is attractive, I can't answer that. I don't know why. It's really like, what can I have something that cute? No, it's the beautiful blue eyes. Like, it's a jaw shape or the eyes. My nose is something. Mm. That combination is gorgeous. I don't know. His parents did a good job making him with the evil. He must have good genetics because they're. I see Nate did see a picture of him as family members and sisters. Sisters are good looking. I mean, guys, like I always say on my videos, just to cover, I am a straight cis woman, and his sister's a pretty girl. And this is coming from a straight cis woman, so. Well, obviously, he has a hot for a brother, so as. Guys, there's been other brother sister actors groups where I like the brother. No, I say their sisters are pretty. I like, don't put someone down if I like, if I'm their brother's biggest fan, I'm not gonna put her down. So guys, this is one video I was able to film. Um, I lost my pen again that quick. Because <laughs> I looked down on my book. Guys, I have two books. So I'm upstairs and one downstairs. I'm too lazy to go back to the same book. So I down all my videos I want to make. Okay, guys. But this video is a little bit too long. Remember to comment, like, share, subscribe. Go over and hit that bell to be notified. So on one channel, I can get to 250 subscribers. And then I'm going to get to five. Okay, guys, I'm hoping to do some doll content next, so stay tuned. Bye, guys.